Why am I so tired? It's 8.45 a.m. Why do I want to sleep right now? I don't get it. How many hours did I sleep? I slept seven and a half hours. I got up at six. I got to bed at like, well, maybe 11. So let's say seven hours. But that's still a lot of fucking sleep, okay? So I shouldn't be fucking tired right now. What is it? Um, yeah, but I had this like in Bali. I don't know what it is. I think, I mean, it's, it's, it can be multiple things, right? Like it's the weather maybe. It's probably also the food because the food isn't optimal. Um, I'm not getting all the veggies I want to get. Um, but yeah, I just had two calls and I'm just like sitting there like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so crazy, like, we don't even notice, like, how, how different we are, even if we're just a little bit tired. Like, you're not proactive anymore. Anyway, I think I'm actually gonna take it, like, 30 minute or 20 minute power nap right now, and then get back to work, because this is not cutting it. And I gotta change something. Maybe it's still because of the... New Year's trip. I'm kind of like jet lagged or whatever. But yeah, I fucking hate this feeling. I never ever want to be tired, okay? Can we please invent something so our bodies don't need sleep anymore? Thanks. Okay, I just had a very good idea for something that Project 33 could offer here in Bali. And it's basically like, it's a mixture between a personal branding workshop for a startup and a team building retreat. Um, so I already played around with the idea with, I think Tommy brought up the idea first and I talked about it with Lucy, of like we can host people, you know, at our house when we're getting the house um, and then they're getting a crash course in personal branding. And that would be like a one person thing. But I actually think the biggest potential is just having a whole startup team um, come over because as I was working on the website, I was looking for some quotes I can use from, you know, like fucking Forbes, just stuff I can put on there to like have some credibility. And there are these articles about like seven personal branding tactics. And then here, like what's it called? 22 statistics that prove the value of personal branding from entrepreneur. And these statistics are fucking amazing. Like I wrote these down, for example. When brand messages are shared by employees on social media, they get 561% more reach. Um, leads developed through employees' social media activities convert seven times more. 92% of people trust recommendations from individuals, even if they don't know them. Employees at companies that invest in personal branding initiatives are 27% more likely to feel optimistic about the company. 20% are more likely to stay at the company and 40% are more likely to believe the company is more competitive. Sales reps who use social media as part of their sales technique outsell 78%. 82% of people are more likely to trust the company. Da -da 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 -da. So basically, there's massive incentive for a company, whether that's a startup or a bigger company, for all of their employees to build their personal brand because every single you know, employees, personal brand brings exposure and reputation and leads and all of that to that company. But obviously that's a whole different endeavor. Like that's on their own. That's what, you know, that's, that's their thing. Um, but what if, you know, we create a workshop where that startup team comes over with all of their employees, like five, six, seven employees, they come over for a week, they stay, you know, maybe at a different house or whatever, like, I mean, that's like a more longer term that we can then develop. Um, but, you know, they come over for a week, it's a team building activity, so there will be things like morning yoga, and there will be things like organized, you know, hikes and trips with the team so they can, you know, get off work. There's definitely like the relaxing part so people can, you know, enjoy Bali and lay at the pool and like chill. But also every day 
there is like a session where we deep dive into you know personal branding and we give them all the tools and things that they need to kind of understand social media understand personal branding understand the differences between all of the platforms and then each employee leaves with a personalized and tailored approach to how they now can start building their brand whether that is like you know go on instagram go on on, on LinkedIn, you know, start your YouTube channel, you know, start a podcast, you know, t tailored to each person. Like we sit down with every one of them. So they leave with that. And they also leave with kind of like a Kickstarter package of personal brand content that they can start pushing out, you know, like everyone gets a photo shoot and everyone gets a branding video and everyone gets, you know, and so they leave with this package of content that they can then start posting on their you know instagram or whatever i think startups would be super interested in paying for that because it's an amazing experience you know it's a team building thing they also like for the founders and ceos of that company it's super attractive because then all of their employees hopefully maybe start building their personal brand which brings massive value to the company in total and then also it's a lead generation tool for us to then get that CEO or founder of that whole group to then come on as a retainer for us. Because obviously that's a one-off thing. They come here for a week, they pay for that, they leave, done, one-off thing. But then like one of the people is obviously the founder and then the goal is to, at least for him, to get him on as a retainer and then we do the execution part of that and we create the content and we make sure that we're constantly on track um, with the strategy, the employees are prob probably not able to pay that. Um, but if they are, like we can take on employees too. Um, I think that would be like pretty fucking dope, you know? And that actually, that is something that you can't do in New York, you know? Because now it's not just like, oh, we create content for you and we are a remote team and we happen to work out of Bali, which is cool for us. But like people in New York are like, I don't give a shit where you guys are. Um, I'd rather have you in New York because, you know, time zone differences. You know, if we just do the like remote, like managing someone's personal brand. Um, but, com and obviously if it's just a personal branding workshop, then for them it's easier if we come into their office, you know, and wherever they are, New York, San Francisco, or whatever, we come to their office and we teach them all the things in like a one day workshop. But to also combine that with a team building aspect of, you know, let's do yoga together, let's do hikes together, you know, let's get the group a bit tighter and get to know each other. You know, there can be like other things where, you know, everyone shares stuff about themselves. So like everyone gets to know their um, employees or their like um, their coworkers better. And that you can't do somewhere else. Like that's, and that's obviously like something that we can then execute on later on. It's nothing that like I'm gonna jump on now and I'm gonna say like, this is what we're gonna do because that's a lot of work. Like we need to build all the curriculum. We need to like find someone who can, we have the people who can teach the personal branding stuff and who can create the content and all that. But we need people who can like do the yoga part, who can like cook for the people who can like take them on a hike and who know like Bali and know all the right places to go to and people who, you know, have experience with team building stuff um, and then get a house or place for them to stay. But yeah, I think that's a fucking dope thing to do, right? Let me know. Let me know what you think about this idea. I want to know. Um, yeah. Hi, so yesterday I updated you guys on kind of the new brief that I now wanted a typeface logo or that I realized that all of the like submissions were standard font that they used. Um, so we got new entries and um, there are obviously some very shitty ones. Um, but now they're like more based on, where's a good example? Like coming up with a, you know, custom, custom font and actually like some of the designs are like the most, well, like I think this 33 looks very interesting. Um, but um, I think that's kind of looks interesting. I like this one a lot. 
and and then kind of like based on the things that the people come up with themselves I then kind of looked at what are the things what are the elements that I actually liked and so I sent out another brief for the designers of all the things that I want to implement and I said this um, update here's what I want the final version of the typeface logo to incorporate all uncapitalized letter I think that's good because it represents the humility of project 33 that it's like you know it's just one project out of many second thing the E in project is written as three horizontal lines so I liked this idea that this dude came up with which is like load bitch um, write the E just as three lines which is kind of minimalistic and you know it's the three the third project 33 got it so I like this idea idea I wanted it to be incorporated the letters have rounded edges to fit the look of 33 then the 33 is be written behind project and not below or above it and then come up with an interesting look to write 33 it needs to be simple so it's not too abstract that people can still that people can't recognize 33 anymore but it needs to have a little bit of something you know a little spice in there try to represent the mystery and innovation and this is this is the example I gave them for that which is you know this like it still says 33 and everyone can recognize that it's 33 but it's like some interesting way to write 33 um, and then color screen black white plus purple and magenta and so someone actually implemented pretty much all of, all of the changes which is this logo so this is currently I'd say my favorite one all small letters has the E incorporated in there I don't like what they did with the 33 I want to change that I don't know exactly what they did there with these lines but anyway that's kind of what we're going for there's still two more days left for the brief so I'm gonna rate them right now and send them some like new suggestions and then we're gonna see what they come up with and I'm gonna update you again Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate to love But why now? Holy shit I just wanna make a trip to the China